Hello everybody, welcome to Shri Voyage. Today we're going over the next section in the Golan Ombre G eyeshadows. I already did Metal Butterfly and Mystic Peacock. I will link those videos below, but today we're getting into Imperial Moon. I did order every single eyeshadow. They are coming in pieces, so as I get them in, I will film them for you. But let's go ahead today and start with the Kiss Kiss Lip and New Imperial Moon eyeshadow. I'm gonna do two looks. One's gonna be more natural look using all these three here, and then we're gonna use this as an eyeliner. I'm gonna wet it and do a cat eye, and then we're gonna do a smoky eye by going dark, medium to light. Let's go. We're gonna use the sponge tip applicators for this look. Grabbing the black, I'm gonna place it on the lash line and work on the outer edge only onto the brow ridge. Ooh, love this. Taking a clean finger, I'm going to soften and blend that black on the brow ridge, and then taking the pointy tip applicator, I'm going to place that on the lower lash line, working just on the outer edge. A softer way to wear black. I want a bit more of an edge to my eye look, so I'm just extending that point to create some drama. Now I'm grabbing this beautiful nude peach color and placing it on the center of the lid and overlapping it onto the black to create a seamless transition. Once again, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to take the silver, though this time it's like a mauve silver, and we're going to overlap it, but place most of it in the center to open the eye, but make sure you're folding those colors onto each other just a bit. Grabbing this silver white color, I'm placing that on the inner corner, and then I'm going to put a little bit more of this right on the center of the lid to brighten a bit. Grabbing that nude color once again, I'm putting this on the lower lash line, and I'm going to go ahead and put it on the brow bone. Grabbing the silvery mauve and nude color, I'm going to place that on the brow bone and then I'm going to add a bit of that silver and the mauve and put it on my cheeks as a highlighter. Grabbing the nude, I'm going to put this on as my blush. Ooh, love this color. And our first look is done. Look number two, a softer version. Grabbing my Sony G Worker 2 brush, I'm gonna first start with the nude color. And I'm going to place this all over the lid, starting at the lash line. I would wear this every day. Then I'm grabbing the silver mauve and I'm putting that right in the center. You could stop right here if you want for a day-to-day -day look. A little mascara, some eyeliner, and that's it. Grabbing the silver now, I'm going to go and put that on the center and on the inner corner and mix the two, the silver and the mauve once again and use it as my highlighter. Grabbing that nude color, I'm once again using it as my blush. So here we have the Art Everyday Cup. You know what that means. I'm using my Chanel eyeliner brush since it has a great tip and dipping it in water. I'm not sure if you can use these eyeshadows wet or not, so make sure you don't do this if you're worried about ruining your palette. Working up the back of my hand, I'm going to place this liner right on the lash line. So we're tight lining here, and I just use my finger to smudge out that line and then put it on the inner corner. Mixing the white and the mauve again, I'm just going to place that all underneath the lash line and I'm cleaning the line up just a bit to get a nice sharp point. Ooh, if it feels a bit too dramatic for you, you can just stop at the edge and not extend the line. Heading now to the new Kiss Kiss lipsticks. And these are balmy hydrating textures with honey. I like to use my lips and on my face. I'm using it as a highlighter across my nose, my cheeks, and my cheekbones. And here we have it, look number one and look number two. The first look is more dramatic. I created an ombre effect working from dark to light. And the look number two is something more subtle. 
It's mostly light colors with just the black as the liner. Which one do you guys prefer? Let me know. You can wear this 365. It's beautiful for brightening and adding luminosity to the eye, kind of popping it open with those soft shimmers. And I will say this gets pretty glittery, so I like to kind of ground it by putting this on top of it. So you can put this on first, then this on, and add another layer of this so that you get the kind of brightening effect without it looking too shimmery. The formula on these shadows is the best I have ever used. And that is because the way that they're clinging to the lid. They remind me a lot of Tom Ford shadows, but just a little bit better developed. And I love my Chanel and my Dior shadows, but they can get a bit frosty or too dry. This just has that beautiful jelly-like formula, so it really clings to that lid. I'm able to take my finger and warm it up into any deeper set lines or fine lines, and it just kind of rolls on top and creates a really beautiful finish. So loving these palettes you guys i have the other ones that are coming in so i'm going to be doing another video i would love to put them all in one video but i'm getting them in various shipments at the very end i will show you guys all of them together and all the swatches and maybe we can do like a live where we can play with some shadows together Briefly, let's get into the new lips that are called Kiss Kiss. This is a 24-hour hydration lip balm, honey and beeswax infused. I got the Rose Glow. The reason I got the Rose Glow is because it reminds me a lot of my favorite lip by Dior. It's the Dior Glow Lip Color. It looks just like this. It's a hydrating balm. I have to tell you guys, my Dior Glow got kicked out by this. Let me tell you why. The Dior Glow, although I love how... Um, glossy and wet it looks it's very sexy on the lips it does have quite a strong fragrance this does not i can actually smell the honey in this so i like the scent better on this and the texture feels a little more hydrating less i'd say wet and glossy i'd say it's a little more subtle more natural a little bit more day friendly now i put this on first and my dior glow if i'm going out i'll put it on top but this is definitely taken over the dior lip just because the beeswax texture and the honey scent smells not synthetic like the dior it just has a bit of a synthetic smell and taste so found a new lip product that i absolutely love now if i had to pick between this one and the chantecaille because i love the chantecaille i'd pick chantecaille and that is because chantecaille does the best hydrating lip balm glossy lipsticks ever they're so so good if you guys are looking for the best gloss ever hands down nothing's ever beaten the chanel glossomers those are amazing all right if you guys have any questions you know what to do comment down below i am a professional makeup artist of 25 years so i am here for you guys to not only go over products but really important for me is that you guys know how to use them we buy so many products and i want you guys to get the most use out of your products i want you to know how to use them for your facial features so feel free to reach out to me happy to assist all right everyone on that note i leave you here questions suggestions you know what to do if you want to support shri voyage it's really simple use the affiliate links down below it helps me continue to purchase products to try them on for you guys and to continue to do this channel if you guys want a little bit more you can head over to shri voyage on instagram or tiktok i do some fun videos and giveaways so feel free to head over there and you can also support me by going ahead and subscribing, hitting that like button, and leaving me a comment. You guys know how this works. All right, everyone, as always, continue to take care of yourselves. Continue to take care of each other. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.